Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with John Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on other videos. Let's get to today's topic. So we're going to talk about um, some Ravens getting some stars back. And we're also going to talk about the Ravens' offense and defense through week four. Uh, just some things that we've learned so far, right? So uh, a couple of things, right, that I, that, that I think we've learned so far the Ravens' season. One is that, you know, the Ravens are still battling an assortment of injury issues that everything that we've heard about during the offseason about the Ravens, you know, hopefully being healthier hasn't really fully occurred. We the Ravens are still about a, a ton of injuries during this year, but there is some good news on that front as guys are returning back. So let, let's talk about that a little bit. All right. So, you know, the guys that are IR currently you got JK Dobbins, our Darius Washington, Tylen Wallace, David Ojabo look like he's hitting to IR. He's decided between surgery and returning uh, Malik Ham, Pepe Williams. Okay. All guys on IR, right? But guys that are, Look like they're coming back right now. So, Keaton Mitchell, explosive running back. We haven't get we haven't got a chance to see him. He's he's practicing for the first time today. Marlon Humphrey is practicing for the first time today. Jalen Armour Davis is practicing. He got injured in the game uh, this past week, so he's back already. Odell Beckham is back. Rashad Bateman is back. Marcus Williams and Ronnie Stanley are still practicing. So, as much as the Raiders have had their issues and they they've been a lot of issues with injuries. They are getting certain guys back, all right? Now, guys that aren't practicing right now still is Odafi Owe, Daryl Worley, Morgan Moses, all right? So it's not completely 100% on the injury front of guys coming back. Obviously, it's never going to be that with, you know, guys like J.K. Dobbins, obviously, out for the whole year. But the Ravens are getting healthier. So um, the injury thing is something that the Ravens just have to go ahead and deal with. It is something that's like it's going to be a part of the Ravens every year. You know, and it's kind of a sad thing to say because at some point the injuries stop being bad luck. And you got to look at certain practices going on inside the building. What's going on inside the building that's causing the injuries or could be a cause? I don't know. Hey, don't know. But at a certain point, we can't just say, man, the Raiders are just so unlucky. You can't be this unlucky all the time. It's just not possible. So, um, but on a positive note, the injuries are look like they're slowing down as far as, um, you know, you're getting guys back, important players back, starters back. So that's good news for the Ravens. So we'll, we'll focus on that part of it. You know what I mean? We'll focus on that part of it. All right. But I also want to talk about the offense and defense, right? Uh, just as far as what's going on this year, uh, things that's changed from last year, just really about what have we learned through the first four weeks of the season when it comes to the offense and defense, right? So defensively, I think that the defense is even better this year than they were last year, right? Let's go through some of the numbers for the defense right now through four weeks, right? 14 and a half points per game allowed. That's third in the NFL. Uh, yards per game, 260, third in the NFL. Rushing yards, seventh. That's seventh in the Sorry, rushing yards, 92 and a half. That's seventh in the NFL. Passing yards per game, 168.3. That's third in the NFL. Um, sacks per game, 3.8. That's fourth in the NFL. So the Ravens are doing what they need to do. Now, the only areas that they probably need to improve on right now, they're about middle of the pack when it comes to third down conversions. And they're kind of middle of the pack when it comes to takeaways per game, right? They improve those two things. This defense has all the potential to be top five. They're already really a top five defense right now. And when you look at this defense, right, who's playing well? All right. Today, Vion Clowney is giving the Ravens a lot more than... Um, I even I was optimistic about the Davion Clowney. He's still doing more than I expected. If he could turn those pressures into sacks, it's a it's an excellent signing. Um, Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen are both on pace for career years, especially Patrick Queen. Um, I talked about this a couple weeks ago. Patrick Queen was on pace for 160 tackles this year. He's still on that same pace, right? Um, he's on pace for an incredible season, a Pro Bowl type of year, a year that's going to get him paid, whether it's here or elsewhere. I've kind of changed my stance on that. I hope Patrick Queen stays a Raven and is paid here. You know what I mean? That's something I was like, you can't pay two inside linebackers. But when both of these guys are playing this well at this high of a level, it's hard to say we're just going to let one of these guys go. You know what I mean? They paid Roquan already, obviously. And I think Patrick Queen should be up next. Um, on the back end, Kyle Hamilton is breaking out. You know, multi-sack game uh, versus the Colts. Geno Stone, two interceptions already this year. I believe it's... I believe his first two career interceptions, if I'm not mistaken. So, that cornerback play, right? A guy we got to talk about is a guy that I was down on previously that I got to give his respect to, and that's Brandon Stevens, right? 
Brandon Stevens um, came into this year. They were trying to match safety corner. It seemed like there was no plan for Brandon Stevens. And with Marlon Humphrey's injury, they kind of got forced and back into the plan of, hey, we got to play Brandon Stevens at cornerback, right? And all he has done is been one of the best players on this defense this season. All right, now, Brandon Stevens, I still wish he had a slightly better ball skills when he's locked on with a receiver. But I can't really complain too much about that because he's forcing pass breakups. He's there in tight coverage. Even when a ball is caught on him, he's really in lockstep with the receiver. So I can't have too many complaints about what Brandon Stevens is doing. And also, obviously, he caught an interception, right? Tip pass, caught, came to him, and then showed some great moves on the return. Got the Ravens in scoring position, and that really opened up the game versus the Browns because the Ravens were able to score on that same drive. So, you know, this Ravens defense has a lot of guys that's contributing. Now, the only disappointing factor is the fact that, obviously, you know, guys like Odafi Owe and David Ajabo were injured, but that kind of leads into the first point we talked about is that uh, injury riddled Ravens is still what the Ravens have to deal with. That's still the cloud hanging over this team is that can they overcome the injuries, right? But the defensive side of the ball has been really positive, um, really all four games. I feel like every game they played good defense. I know the coach game we lost, uh, but at the end of the day, I can't say the Ravens lost the game on the defensive side of the ball. Right? I think the defense did enough for, you know, the offense to hopefully step up and win that game. You know what I mean? So um, I feel really good about the Ravens defense. I think they're even better this year than they were last year just because full off season, Roquan is the full on leader of this team. I mean, the kind of mindset, mentality, and, and physicality that Roquan Smith is playing with, I mean, it's got to give you shades and a feeling of Ray Lewis back in the day, right? Um, he's that real leader of the defense when he says about the whole, I mean, it was taken out of context, but the whole, you know, we're, we're there to beat Cleveland in front of their wives and their kids. Um, they went out there and they stood on that. They backed that up and, you know, and they, they whipped DTR and the Browns offense all day long as they should have. Right. So Ravens defense even better than last year. Right now, offensively. Now this is the side of the ball where it gets a lot more attention because this is where the big changes were made. This is where Todd Munkin was brought in. This is where. You know, the, we were supposed to see something different on offense, right? And I will say this about the Ravens' offense. The biggest thing I'm learning about the Ravens' offense is that it's still a work in progress. They're still learning about what they want to do in the offense. But let's let's talk about some numbers, right? All right, 24.8 points a game. That's 12th in the NFL. Uh, touchdowns per game. They're averaging three touchdowns a game. That's 5th in the NFL. All right. Now, yards per game. They're 13th in the NFL with 335 a game. Rushing yards, they're still top five. 151 yards a game. They're 4th in the NFL. Passing yards, uh, 180, 183 yards a game, which is 26 in the NFL. But right now, they're dead last in pass attempts. So that's something I would like to see rise up. But here are the numbers that uh, I really, really love that's about this Ravens offense right here. Okay. Third down conversion percentage. And we know how big third downs are in the NFL. It's called the money down for a reason. 47.3%. That's fifth in the NFL. So top five in third down conversion. 74.3% comp uh, com completion percentage, excuse me, that's Lamar Jackson right there. That's second in the NFL, I believe only Josh Allen is higher. 104.2 passer rating, that's seventh in the NFL for Lamar Jackson. And this is the big one. This is the complaint that I had. I did a video about it last year uh, about this Ravens offense. Red zone touchdown percentage. When you get down in, in, in close, when you get down in the red zone, can you score sevens and not kick threes? The Ravens right now are first in the NFL in red zone touchdown percentage at a crazy 80%. 80%. 80% of the time the Ravens are getting to the red zone and leaving with a touchdown. So this offense is going to go through going pains continuously, right? I don't think you're going to see a fully grooved Ravens as offense until we're double digit weeks into the season. You know what I mean? I just, that's just how it is when you got a new offense going on. Um, but I will say this, for all the complaints I've had, you know, other fans have had, this and that, they look well, they're putting the numbers up they need to do. The only thing I'll say about the Ravens' offense is that I want to see continued aggression. I talked about this in the Colts game. I talked about this uh, last week versus the Browns. It seems like at certain points of the game, they, they let their foot off the gas a little bit, right? Um, when you see a team like Miami, right, score 70 points versus the, the Broncos. Broncos are a bad team, you know, I'm not, not saying like that, but... Um, they kept going. You, 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 you keep trying to score, right? Um, might we use Miami again, but this time on the other side. 
when they played the the Buffalo Bills, it's deep into the fourth quarter. Josh Allen is getting is getting a rushing touchdown. You know what I'm saying? Like the Bills are still gunning the ball down the field to really put a stamp on beating Miami 48 28. I think something like that, right? So I want to see the Ravens to continue to have that kind of aggression where you keep going for it um, because I think they've had times to really put games away and they've let the door open just a little bit but not being fully aggressive out there. Um, and as far as um, offensive utilization and things like that, um, I think they all lean a lot on Zay Flowers. I think we saw some of that kind of come back, um, come back to earth a little bit versus the Browns. You know, we saw a lot more, um, you know, um, Mark Andrews and things like that. So I think this offense is in a good spot right now, and they're getting guys back. Like I said, OBJ's practicing again. Rashad Bateman's practicing again. So hopefully they return. Ronnie Stanley's practicing again. So there are a lot of enforcements to come back to this Ravens offense that can even help it reach another level. So if I look at this deep, this team right now through four weeks, they should be 4-0, right? Um, they dropped the ball versus the Colts, right? They, they did. We got to admit that. Uh, but to be 3-1, top of this division, looking like the most complete team in the division with the defense playing so well and the offense, even though it's a little bit of a learning curve, the offense is still playing well enough to put points on the board and be a constant threat. So through four weeks, I am happy with where the Ravens were, right? Now, if you would have told me, hey, don't, we're not talking about who they would have lost to, I probably would have said three and one, if I'm being quite honest, right? I think I did a prediction about it a while ago, and I said the Ravens would probably be three and one through their first four games. But, you know, I was thinking maybe it would be like the Browns, not, not, not the Browns, um, it would be the Bengals game that, that they might drop in Cincinnati, right? You know, obviously that didn't happen. So, it's not the three and one I was expecting, but it's still the three and one that, you know, is a good record and you're starting off the season uh, in a good spot, right? Um, so, listen, man, that's that's my kind of review of what was going on for the first four weeks of the season when it comes to the Ravens offense and defense. Uh, I like what I'm saying for the defense. They're dominant, they're physical. Um, I've talked about it before, they're not missing any tackles. And this Ravens offense is, they're finding their groove. I would say, Two out of the four games have been great games, and the other two games have been subpar. If they can find a way to have good, solid games um, throughout the rest of the season, this offense is going to continue to rise and climb up the ladder, you know what I mean, in, in, in all statistical categories. And if they can stay around, now obviously 80% touchdown percentage in the red zone is um, an astronomical number. They're probably not going to keep that up. But if they can stay in the top five of red zone, Touchdown percentage. I mean, this offense is already going to get down the field. Now they convert and get down the field in the touchdowns consistently. Um, it's going to be very, very, very dangerous uh, coming later on into the season. So uh, I think at this first point, this first quarter of the, uh, of, of the season, the Ravens are looking good and hopefully they can get healthy as well. So that's my thoughts. Give me your guys' thoughts in the comments about what you think about the Ravens for their first four weeks of the season. And uh, well, I'll reply to the comments there, man. But it's Gabriel. This is on the Fan TV. I'm out.